Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to quickly create a profile or profile view in Civil 3D. This question comes up a ton so I figured I'd show you a few quick and easy ways to create a profile in Civil 3D. Even if you don't use Civil 3D this is a great one to know as you can tell what's required to create a profile view. Before we jump in, I want to thank Plex Earth for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't already checked them out, I highly recommend it. You can use their software and add-in for Civil 3D and AutoCAD to automatically bring in Google imagery, terrain data, contours, and export things directly to Google Earth. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Plex Earth later in the video. For now, let's jump right into how to create a profile view in Civil 3D. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, this question comes up a surprising amount, and I understand it because profiles are kind of the building blocks of design, especially when you're using Civil or Civil 3D. So if you're not familiar with a profile, a profile is a section or profile along a specific line or alignment in Civil 3D, and this profile is going to show you what the existing or proposed ground surface is doing along that alignment. It can also project and show you piping and underground utilities. But for our example, I'm going to show you guys how to create that profile view so you can get started and see what's going on with your surfaces. Now, to begin, you're going to need a surface. And as I mentioned, you can get contours and surfaces directly from Plex Earth for basically anywhere in the world. So again, I highly recommend checking them out at that link up above or down below. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But for now, I've got city contours and I've created a surface here using them. This is my original ground or OG or existing ground EG surface. Uh, sometimes you'll have a proposed surface as well. But if you're in the beginning stages of your design, you may only have an existing ground or original ground surface. To create a profile, you're going to need a line or an alignment to base your profile on. Now this is the line that you're simply going to be cutting a section or profile along to see what's going on with the ground. Now you can do this in a few ways. Uh, the main and kind of proper way would be to use an alignment. Now you can create an alignment from an existing line, say drawing a polyline along the area you'd like to cut your profile. You can do that and then simply create an alignment from an object by clicking up on the top uh, here and your home tab, choosing alignment, create alignment from object, selecting the object is going to ask you if this is what you'd like to create an alignment out of. Hitting enter is going to ask you if this is the di correct direction. So you're going to be looking down or across the line like this. So you can see this is the alignment direction. You can hit R and enter to reverse it or flip it. Hitting enter is going to create your alignment. It's going to ask you a few questions. We can call this whatever we like. By default, it's going to just start numbering them and calling them alignment. From here, you can choose whether you want to include it in a site you're working on. If you're working on a large project, you might want to divide them into separate sites or areas, say phasing uh, for land development. But for our example, we're just going to leave it at site one. Now you can choose your alignment style, whether it's proposed, standard, layout, intersection. It's going to be a proposed one for us. And then the, your alignment labels, you can choose how you'd like to label them. You can always change these settings later on. Next, it's going to ask if you'd like to add curves by default in between your tangents. I'm going to turn that off for this example. And it can erase this line when finished. So I'm going to hit OK to all of this. And you can see we've now got an alignment on our project site. Now, to show or cut the profile view, you can simply go now and choose the profile dropdown and say select create surface profile. This is going to bring up the surface profile dialog box here and you simply need to choose the alignment that you'd like. We've only got our one alignment and then choose from the different surfaces in your drawing that you'd like to show on your profile. Again, we've only got a single surface in our drawing, so I'm going to select it and click Add to add it to our profile view. Here you can change a few settings like the style and start and end stations. 
Uh, for our example, we're going to show the entire thing, and I'll show you what this is going to look like. Click Draw in Profile View, and you're going to get a dialog box. It's going to allow us to set up and change the different visualization settings of our profile view. Uh, you can go through this quickly if you'd like, but the main ones to look out for are the style. This is going to tell you whether it's exaggerated, uh, say 10 to 1 or 1 to 1, as well as what it's going to look like and how the grids and spacings are set up. I'm going to use this custom one that I've got here. We're going to hit next and here you can choose these stations. So that would be if you'd like to limit your profile from a specific station number to another specific station number, say cutting it short uh, or only showing the first half or second half, you can adjust that now by a user specified range. I'm going to use the automatic, which is going to give us from start to finish. Hitting next is where we can choose the height or elevations shown. Again, this is if you'd like to cut off the top of the profile, if you're only interested in a specific range of elevations. Otherwise, leaving this automatic is going to show you all of the elevations from the low point to the high point along your line. If you hit next here, you're going to be able to choose any display options. This is going to be your styles, any labels and overrides. Again, we're going to keep this simple and hit next. Lastly here, we've got data bands, uh, and these are the bands that are going to display along the bottom of your profile, and I'll point these out when we get to them. Uh, for ours, I'm going to turn off bands because we don't really need them and we don't have any more detailed information like a proposed surface or piping in our example. Hitting next is going to allow me to define any hatching for cut and fill comparisons between finish and existing ground. Again, we only have our original or existing ground, so we're not going to use this one for the example. Now, simply creating profile view is going to ask us to place it. I'm just going to place it over to the right of our alignment. Today's video is sponsored by Plex Earth. I've talked about Plex Earth a few times on the channel before, but if you're not familiar with it, Plex Earth is an AutoCAD and Civil 3D plugin that helps bring additional data and visualization to your projects, including imagery, surface data, and integration with Google Earth. You can easily download and install the plugin on their website and unlock up-to-date imagery, terrain, and visualization options instantly. Plex Earth makes it easy to share and present designs and ideas using their visualization tools. With just a few clicks, you can export entire CAD designs directly into Google Earth, allowing you to share them with clients, managers, and coworkers alike. This can prevent unnecessary back and forth, reduce headaches and rework, and create a valuable selling point for your design. Many clients are not accustomed to reading technical design drawings that can be hard to visualize and understand. Being able to easily see and visualize a project live in Google Earth allows the client to see the finished product and makes it easy to share design ideas, options, and point out potential conflicts prior to a final design and construction. Even your drawing data will come through, allowing you to quickly and easily check things like pipe sizes, dimensions, and details in the form of object attributes in Google Earth, making it a perfect companion to your simple 3D model. I believe visualization is and will be a big part of CAD design moving forward, and Plex Earth helps make it easy for us to share our technical vision using a software as common as Google Earth. If you'd like to learn more and try out Plex Earth now, you can find the link in the description below. And if you're one of the first five users to click the special offer link, you can get two months of Plex Earth Pro subscription completely free as a special promotion for you, our CAD Intentions viewers. I want to thank Plex Earth once again for sponsoring today's video, and I honestly think you guys should check them out. I use them daily in my workflow. And you can see if we zoom in, you've now got a profile view that follows along our alignment, showing the existing ground as it travels along our line. So if we split our view here to two horizontal, you can see how this is dynamic and how they interact with each other. So this is our profile here. And if you select a profile and click Station Tracker and turn it on for all viewports, you can see that as I move my cursor along my profile, it's showing me where I am 
in relation to the alignment up here. This works both ways. So clicking in the top view, I can now slide my uh, station tracker along to see what the elevations are doing at a given point. So you can see this is the existing ground, it's going uphill, and this is all dynamic. So if we select our alignment and move it, you can see the surface changes as the alignment changes. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at another quick and easy way to cut a profile in Civil 3D. And this one's even faster, but it's more of like a temporary and quick look, uh, an easy way to quickly see what's going on with your surface or along an, a specific area. Uh, this works as a, basically a quick section or quick profile option. And to use it, you simply draw a line wherever you'd like to cut that profile. So we're gonna just cut one right through the center of this property. And all you need to do is simply select your line, right click and choose quick profile. It should be on the right click menu about the middle here. And now you're going to go straight into a profile dialog box, allowing you to select any of the surfaces you have within your drawing that you'd like to display and choose a quick profile style. We're gonna use the same style, this profile view one-to-one -one, and hit okay. Now you'd simply click a spot and it's going to show you that profile. Now, there are a few things. This profile is dynamic. So now you've got this dynamic profile that you can simply move this line around and see what's happening anywhere along your surfaces. Um, but there are some downsides to quick profiles. They are temporary within your drawing and they'll disappear after you save or close your drawing. When you come back, this isn't going to be there anymore. But as you saw, they are almost instant to create, so it's not a big deal. These are meant as more of a visualization uh, tool, so you can quickly and easily create these, move them around. They're not going to uh, add anything to your drawing, like an alignment or an actual profile view, but they do allow you to see what's going on in your surface dynamically and quickly whenever you need them. I like to use them uh, when I'm screen sharing to show people what my grading or road design is doing at a specific location or if they have any questions like what's the end of this lot look like or what's this cul-de-sac graded like you can simply do a quick profile through it and show them on the fly what's going on. As with the typical profile view you can uh, edit the view style a little bit um, changing things like your exaggeration the different text and layout in general but again this is just a temporary object so i wouldn't worry too much about that now i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this is just a quick tutorial on how to create profiles within civil 3d if you're interested in learning more about civil 3d i do have a civil 3d crash course which i'll put a link to down below where you can learn all about alignments profiles grading and even more uh, and again, I want to thank Plex Earth for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you do. Uh, I think it's going to come in really handy with any of your design work. Again, you can pull contours and surfaces directly into your drawings uh, for pretty much anywhere in the world. You can also grab imagery from Google Earth and a variety of sources too. Uh, I highly recommend them and check them out at that link up above and down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one. Cheers.